Master Sarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island. Ruins that, after careful scrutiny, were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guilt. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions. Questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the Pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. My dear child, what can I do for you? I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Telene lands. And of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand chasing your cousin. I will see you later, Father. Take care, my child.
Hello, my lady. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. Fernando and the Admiral are close. When she was captain, he was her chief mate. She trusts him completely. That's why she put him in charge of the management of the port of San Mateus. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. Do you want from me, my daughter? Lady de Sade, emissary of the congregation. Ah! The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my daughter. And of course, the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive, and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings. We suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the Blood Plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. What a nest of absurdities. What other reaction would you expect from those responsible for the curse that afflicts us? Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else?
This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate. Even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way, we'll know exactly what the Nords are hiding from us. I can assure you we're not hiding anything reprehensible. But if you absolutely want to check it out for yourself... I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. These objects are called sextants. Looking at the heavens through them, we can determine and track precisely the course of our ships. Nothing magic or impure therein. They are nothing but measuring instruments. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. I wouldn't begin to know how this one works. It's a new model, invented recently. It's designed to measure the depths of the oceans. It's extremely useful. That, it looks like a thermometer. And this other machine, does it really predict the weather? The second instrument is a barometer, and it does indeed predict where the weather is going to be. Nothing magic in it either, I can tell you that. These instruments are incredible, and I would be hard pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here, nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science, and I have definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> this Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the better of him. I don't think you realize the importance of what you have just seen. These instruments allow us to dominate the oceans and discover new worlds. Keeping this secret has enabled us to remain the only ones capable of navigating the high seas. Everyone just thinks you use a magic of your own. We were the ones that spread that rumor. It harms our reputation, but protects us from competition. And this story about the Malachor? 
I have no way to explain why we don't catch it, but we're not responsible for it. I truly hope you'll reveal nothing of what you've discovered in this place. The Ordo Luminous was completely wrong. We must find these missing noughts. that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Aye. As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And, well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that's where we should... several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the knots are up to. And what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the port, especially considering what we've learned from Demetrius. They must be doing everything in their power to discover the Nort's secrets. We'd better go towards the tavern. That's where the Nort was last seen before he disappeared. If we find inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. We're approaching the tavern. If we want to eavesdrop on conversations, we should be discreet. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my daughter. You've been misinformed. I'd advise you seriously to change tone and tell us all that you know. You wouldn't want to suffer a humiliating defeat now, would you? I, I... I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well. Since you insist, these noughts were arrested. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? 
No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has... lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but... we have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really do not realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution. For the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. Do not forget that there is only one song that can make us change our minds, Greenblood. Played with golden notes. You said it. Or songs of steel. They also open doors. And if I gave you this so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while. But be discreet. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification, before they can execute them. Taking into consideration what we learned in the warehouse, it will not be difficult to convince the Mother Cardinal to intervene.
bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Let's see if you can pull off this fight. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. Yes? I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Norts. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives, and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively. Considering the accusation is founded on no proof, other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminis captured several noughts, locked them in jails rented to them by the coin guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These noughts are now united with their captain. And I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminis, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the coin guard to attack every Nort building and imprison every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Norts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Norts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Norts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence. Until we meet again.
De Sarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminis. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets? They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies. We transported some lords, men and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are in fact a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. Did Constantine know? I must... I must go see him. I am sorry, Queen. I promise you that I knew nothing of. And as far as I'm concerned, this changes nothing. I will keep watching over you. You couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. What are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see? I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a purge. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? It's... the blood is black. Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me! Constantine, stay with me! Constantine! There is a chance he is an error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No. No, Constantine. I will die, like your mother. And the others, on the continent, I... I am dying! I don't want to die. I don't. No, no, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't... Constantine, I am here. Pull yourself together. Out. Everyone out. It's an order. 
Thank you. Cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that cannot be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the Congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Noughts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the Noughts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story. Believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the Noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother was captured from here during one of them. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not... Your fair cousin. No. All the lies that we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told I am the spitting image of my dead father, lost during an expedition. I... I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my fair cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You are my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... Dismissed, soldiers. Leave us. We have much to say. What is going on? I don't appreciate this attitude, Kurt. Must I remind you that these men all answer to me? Times change, your highness. Or rather, they're about to do so. Is that a threat? What are you hoping to accomplish? Don't tell- Silence. We have little time and not to lose. Kurt, what are you talking about? The commander of the Coin Guard is here in New Serene at this very moment. He's preparing a coup d'etat. In the three cities of the island, our men are going to eliminate the governors and their entourage. This is madness. How? How? You'll go down as easy as plum pie and cherry wine. Standing behind every one of you is one of our men. You have entrusted us with your security. You are completely at our mercy. Then why did you send your men away? And why are you telling us all of this? I've known you both for a very long time. Too long. I've come to know you. To respect you. And I've never reneged on a contract. These orders go against all that I am. A cold-hearted mercenary, definitely, but never a traitor. And so now you are forewarned. You must take action. Thank you, Kurt. I will not forget this. Constantine, we need to get you to safety as well as your counselors. But I want to... What? Take part? You can barely stand up. No, we must take you into the cellar. If I've completely understood what you've said, Kurt, the governors of our cities are also in danger. Yes. If you want to keep your allies, Your Highness, you also need to warn them. Correct. 
We cannot let them fall into the hands of these traitors. I will find the means to send them a messenger. Do you know where your conspirators are? It would seem I should be one of them. They are counting on me to eliminate both of you. The most urgent matter is to get our hands on the commander and his three lieutenants. The others are doing nothing but following orders. If we cut off the heads, they will fall into rank. <sighs> I always knew you were a good man. Don't make me change my mind. We'd better be off. Now.